Let's take a look at the recording function of New Window 10. This project I have an audio channels here. We can select and I have the inspector open, which is under the left zone. And I can select my input functions here as well, uh, which input I want to use and which outputs I'd like to monitor the recording through. So if we look at the audio tracks, I've got different icon selected. Of course, this is you can customize these functions here as well. Um, I have the record enable, which I can engage right now. Um, and if I want to monitor, you, you can see that the monitor and the recording engage at the same time. And that, the reason for that is under my preferences, under VST, I've got tape machine style selected. Now, it could also be manual. And if I set that to manual, for example, when I disengage it, it will be uh, separate. So I can just engage the recording and then engage my monitoring separately. Now I'm pretty much ready to go, so I can just select whatever location I want my cursor in my recording to start, and I can just start from that cursor position. So I can stop here, just move the cursor around and just start recording here, move it around here, and you will start at the cursor position. Now another functions that are uh, useful recording, let's undo this couple of times here. If I put my uh, mouse on top here, you can see I'm going to lose the locators. And I, so I can define a section, for example, this little section here. I can engage this cycle mode. Now from there, I can again move my cursor whatever position I want to start recording. It will start recording here. For example, um, it might be a piece of music we're starting and it will start, keep going, keep going. And by the end, by the time I reach the end of the locator, it will start recording again. Now, one of the functions that you have in uh, New Window 10 is show lane. And what that do is I always record a new version, a new lane for each recording. So you can see I can go through my recording and have multiple takes of one particular section. Now I can stop and I have whatever the last take would be on top. Now by using the what we call a comp tool, which is this little tool over here, you can actually highlight the section you'd like to be on top. So it's a, it's, it's a good way to take multiple recording on a dialogue or a piece of music, take multiple takes, and as you can see, whatever I highlight with a comp tool will be on top. What do you got, whatever you see on top here are the selected section on each lane. At this point, I can also create different track versions. And what that does is, for example, this is a, a recording I did, let's say, with reverb, and uh, I go to track versions, tab number two here, and I create a new version. That new version is going to be without reverb, for example, and maybe another version with delay and reverbs. And I can easily go back to different versions. So what this allows me to do is, in addition to have different versions of a solo guitar, uh, or uh, dialogue, I can also create multiple takes on each version. So if I had different languages, for example, I can have uh, English versions with multiple takes with different actors, version number two, Russian version with multiple takes, version three, French, multiple takes, etc. Now in conjunction with the locator, I can use markers and new window 10 has regular markers and cycle markers so if i create a marker let's just call it a marker in this case uh, marker one and add track now i have a marker track down here we can actually position my cursor and select a marker or create a cycle marker using the locator so whatever the locator position is I click here it will create a cycle marker, which of course I can always adjust. If it's not exactly where the position I want it, I can adjust it, change the size, for example. Now this is also used with the ADR tool suite that we have. So if I put Command M, that will open my uh, ADR panel. And you can see in my ADR panel, I created one marker, which is right here, as well as a cycle marker. Now you can see the cycle marker is taking the exact position of the locator. So this is what's going to do. So let's just close this lanes here, right here. So I'm going to take this out. I'm just going to show the cycle marker here and my locator engage. Now, if I reopen my ADR panel, 
I can say, okay, I'm going to record something within that section here. I'm going to go ahead and record because he's not recording anything. And boom, now it's recording there from until I get to the end of the cycle marker and it will stop the recording there. So this is essentially how the ADR tools, or some of the tools that the ADR panels offer uh, for recording. Finally, let's look at the punch point functions. So I have punch point in, punch point out on my uh, transport bar. If you don't see it, then you can always go to the uh, triangle here to the, and make sure that your punch points are selected. So this allows me to select a section, let's say here. And if I go here or use the uh, option in this case, which is option click for the Mac, I can just activate set point in position. And you can see a little red triangle where my cursor is and then set my cursor to punch out, set punch out positions, engage it. Now you can see this section will be a punch in, punch out. In conjunction with the punch in, punch out, I can also overlay, for example, the locator. Now this allows me to do a repeat, so I can punch in and out to these sections as many times I want, but also allows me a little bit of a pre-recording and post-recording, which I can also do on the ADR panel, by the way. It's all part of the uh, ADR uh, toolbox. And at this point, I'm pretty much ready to record, but in this case, I just hit the space bar and at the recording punching point, it will punch in and start recording, punch out, as you can see. And it will keep going because I'm on cycle mode. And if I open my little lane, you can see it's still recording the same way that we had earlier, which is the cycle marker engage.